Hello friend, and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. Welcome back to Controller Wars. This is the, uh, the, the second of our devices that's going to run the Nordschleifer in the Aston Martin. We're sticking with the Thrustmaster T300RS wheelbase. And we've switched to the, the classic formula style Thrustmaster rim. This has lots of rotor encoders, and it has switches, and we've got buttons everywhere, absolutely everywhere. It's uh, It's got a rubber grip. It's an all-in-one push-pull style uh, gear change paddles, which is handy because it means you can change in both directions with one hand, uh, which is a handy little note there if you're a, a one-handed person. The time to beat so far by the uh, the Thrustbuster open wheel rim is 6 minutes 45.236. As of last time, I'll get three laps to do this, an installation lap, or a bank, whichever way you want to look at it. Then I'll try and do a fast lap, followed by an absolute banzai lap. So we'll see how we do. Get myself comfortable. And that's not the right button. Nor is that. There it is. All right, here we go. I've said a. Oh, what a start! <laughs> oh no! It's about to say I've said a shocker of an installation lap, and I think I know why. The diameter of the Formula wheel is much, much greater than that of the open wheel, which we used previously, and it does affect your steering quite a bit. Certainly, this wheel is this, this wheel rim rather is far more accurate. Uh, but the the steering itself isn't as sharp. Uh, the bigger wheels being more about smoothness than speed, which is certainly very interesting, uh, and is going to be a factor going forward. It wasn't something I realised would be a factor, but I'm finding the car not nearly as sprightly using this large diameter rim. Whoa! So that, that would have been fine with the formula rim, but with it being a wider diameter, you have to turn it further over the same distance. Uh, I know it sounds a little counterintuitive but there it is very very strange Ooh, uh, yeah we're in don't worry we're going to catch him past that ghost because like i said i had a shock of installation lap i went horribly wrong that line was wrong through there it was on the wrong side of the road uh, but don't worry about it too much But yeah, it's it's funny how you you get used. Whoa, bye, bye, ghost. It's funny how you get used to a certain diameter of rim. Uh, and how that affects your driving style. I find that I'm being far more precise with this one, <gasps> although not in the car where I want to, because I'm just I'm not used to how far I'm going to turn the wheel. It's all down to your your muscle memory, essentially. Oh, that's crazy. Don't know if you had the same sort of issues. Those of you who use wheel bases with with multiple rims, let me know in the comments. Oh, that's a wall. That's not where we want to be. As you see, I, I cannot get this car around the track with this wheel. What on earth? Okay, we'll keep plodding along. There's still Banzai lap to come as well. Which I'm not too hopeful about, but we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Yep, no oversteer here, just lots and lots of running out wide. It's a little bit special. So we're on for about a 6.51 at the moment. Which is going to put us around 6 seconds off the open wheel rim. Uh, 
If you're watching the, uh, the previous video, you know I always brake too heavily there because I always get mixed up with this corner. I don't need to brake particularly heavy there either, to be honest. But you know, it's a better safe than sorry sort of lap. Just to get a lap on the board. Way. I take back what I was saying about there being no oversteer. We go into the first carousel. Stay in the groove, pop out the top. And then a 6.49 now. Uh, an improvement, but you know, not enough to challenge the open wheel, not enough to even get close to it. Right. Head down, put down focus for this section because this is a section I can never remember that was a little bit leery okay we're finding the groove now getting the hang of steering further than I would normally. Strangely enough, I don't know if it's because it's dispersing energy, but I'm not as aware of the force feedback with this wheel, uh, the wheel rim, as I was with the open wheel rim. But I just can't feel as much what's going on underneath me. Maybe it's the, the rubber grips, I don't know. It's the second carousel. Whoa, a little bit sideways, we're we going to the... That's not the angle you want to hit the carousel at. Okay. Let's take stock of where we're at. Uh, 12 seconds up. That's a... Uh, that's a 44. Is this going to be a, a new fastest lap? Surely not. Surely we're not about to break our record. We shall see. It's very tight and twisty in that uh, that final section. As I've already said, this wheel doesn't do tight and twisty very well. It's stopped if we can. Here we go. We've got it stopped. Oh, I've chucked it out again. <laughs> We're still ahead of the ghost. <laughs> so we can still push. We can still give it a go. Uh, we'll call that a feature of the lap, shall we? Have I got the... Uh, I got the time wrong? That lot of time supposed to beat? I don't know, I'm all confused now, because that lap didn't feel particularly fast. The game's just lying to me to make me feel better? I don't know. That'd be kind of sad, I suppose. Wee! Did we get a wheelie? Oh yeah! Pop that wheelie. Almost a second of our previous time. We are motoring, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and I've thrown it away. Just as I did on the uh, the Banzai lap in the first video, uh, I've thrown it away. So sorry. So for the uh, the Thrustmaster T300 RS with the classic formula rim, I managed to nail a 643.248. That is indeed a new fastest lap. So in conclusion, uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. I was clearly struggling. You saw me bin it right at the start. 
and yet the car was just so much more precise. Sure, it was running out further, uh, but it was almost understeering where the first video I spent a lot of time correcting oversteer. I don't think there's much in the difference of diameter, maybe a couple of centimetres at most. Uh, could it be there's a, a rim for every car? Or a rim for every driving style? Could it be that I'm just more practised? Just more used to that size? I don't know. Hopefully you'll come back and join me again. When next time I'll be trying something that's not a wheel. And we'll see if we can go faster on a controller. That should be interesting. If you're new around here, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Maybe subscribe and hit the bell to see when the next test is coming. Thank you very much to my Discord, to my fantastic sponsor, player.com, PC Gaming Made Easier. And until next time, be good to yourself, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.